This is something that I ordered a couple of weeks ago from Ukraine. And um, is this polythene or is this taped? This is one of those proper unboxing. It's actually taped, I think. All right, okay. Most, not most professional of video makers, me. You know. That's better. This is the um, the bottle filler, the barrel bottle filler, and I know there's only um, the pet bottle filler in this particular one because <coughs> the guy's sending me the glass bottle filler and the swing top bottle filler. A separator there is that a spare if it is I'm not sure what oh, it's probably for there isn't it right um, break the habit of a lifetime it's all fairly straightforward realistically it's a beer tap that you clamp a bottle to uh, and then you can purge it with CO2. So, put that up there on top of my advent calendar. We have two inlets here. Is this still on camera? You know, I'm getting good at this. Gas inlet. And this is your waste outlet. So I'm guessing in here we will have i be very careful because I don't want to lose any of these bits. I would normally have put them into a little tray, but I'm a lazy git today. So there we have... Is that, in, is that in shot? Nearly in shot. So we've got three connectors. Oh, for fuck's sake. This, I'm guessing, is... Maybe not, you know, that's already, that's got. Right. All right, so one of these. Right, okay, so that, that goes behind. So that then will go on there. Yeah. So that's your barbed connector for your beer. What I'm gonna use There's one of these party taps with the disco and all I'm going to do is take the party tap off and attach that to where's it gone? the barb on the end. Similarly for gas, I'm just going to use a bit of gas line. So it's arrived a little bit late because I was going to try and do some of these what everybody seems to be doing. Um, these um, beer mails. But I'm always a little bit, I don't know, I don't particularly um, class myself as one of these sort of like brewers that people would want to taste all my shit. So I don't generally do beer mouths. But well, that ain't gonna work, is it, you dickhead? I think I've done this wrong. So maybe today I'll get this all um, connected up. So waste, gas, beer in, standard beer tap type thing and bottle and whatever. Does that make sense boys and girls? I'm sure some people do a really smart job. All I've done is chopped a 25 mil hole which is sort of like an inch, just over an inch, really, I suppose, isn't it? Uh, and then I'm going to pop a couple of holes in here for the pipe work. Top tip, boys and girls, attach your gas line to the gas input post before you attach it to the eye tap uh, to soak that in boiling water to get it on. I don't think it's ever coming off. It's that rigid gas line. So now I've got to try and screw it into there. 
second top tip take it all apart again so that you can get this in here and then tighten it up so just to recap two 10 mil holes and a 25 mil hole let's put it together from the behind side the plastic nut this is very much just like a normal kind of tap connector I don't know if that would fit it probably wouldn't I might try see if that will fit a normal or we'll see maybe another time uh, yeah so two 10 mil holes we've got the gas connector we have the drain this is just from an old uh, dip tube from a firmzilla um, and a standard disco on the end I've flushed it all out with star sand what we need to do now is get some kind of gas connector on the end of that easy so this was a counter pressure bottle filler that I was using again with just like a piece of hose and then fill it with gas unscrew it let the gas out put some beer in there unscrew it let the beer push the gas out <sighs> limited success um, this should be far superior when I was cleaning it out with star sand what I did notice was this doesn't just pour in it sprays out so against the sort of edge of the bottle I don't know whether that's to reduce foaming or not I'll uh, I'll see when I have erected it oh tiny bit not the best of times to find you've nearly got an empty co2 bottle what I have done this is my spare co2 feed I've put it into that counter pressure that comes up into the bowel that well that works um, then I shall attach down here I always love the way all the best laid plans suddenly fall apart so number four is the check Pilsner so I'll disconnect that from the keg so that's now connected to here I flushed it through with star sand I'm going to flush it through a little bit into just any old bottle just um, to make sure that that's completely flushed out and I've got another bottle over in star sand so we will now oh moment of truth now if that's not an almost perfect Heath Robinson setup I don't know what is let's get a bit closer because uh, I'm, I'm using a tripod both hands free so I think I'll need both hands moment of truth boys and girls the drain is currently going into just uh, popped into the neck of a bottle under there so this will be the flush that in and up not sure how much we should push that yeah right so open that right let's have a I don't know if you could see there it actually throws it down the side of the bottle. I don't know how good a. Let's have a look. Yes, you can. You can see my camera work is getting better. I'm not a filmmaker. <laughs> right, so let's now flush that out. Release the pressure. Take that out. Look at that. You could even get a flake with that. Right, let's try it properly. Star sand. I don't mind a few bubbles in a bottle when it's cleaned out with star sand. Do that up. CO2. So that's now purged and we've got some CO2 in there right this is where the counter pressure comes in I guess let's do some counter pressuring well now that is quite good it has really restricted the flow 
that's coming up a bit too fast, so we'll slow that down a bit. Slows it down to oft. That's, is it? Actually, do you know, that's quite a fast fill. That is now up to top. Star sand lid. It's just going to go everywhere. Let's release the pressure just in case. Well, would you look at that? Mark is going to get some of the Czech Pilsner after all. Now that, I think, is a bit of a winner. Um, simplicity itself. Is there anything I don't like about it? Not really. It was cheap enough. Well, I say cheap enough. It was 60 quid. Um, easy enough to use. That was, for a first go, I'm impressed. I'm going to do another one, but it means I've got to go and get another bottle to Star San. All right. Second go. Star San. Oops. Bottle in. Bottle done up. Do that up. Purge. Release. Purge. Release. Purge. Beer. Check Pilsner on its way to our mark. That's about as perfect as it gets, isn't it? Right, so turn the tap off. I can see me at some point forgetting to turn the tap off. But there you go. Release the pressure. No pressure. Find a lid. Out and capped. Again, how easy and straightforward was that? Following that first test, I decided to invest in the attachment for glass bowls that take crown caps and this is what arrived along with interestingly two of these plug-in cams now I didn't know when I got this whether they'd just forgotten to put one in because there's space on top for the two cams it seemed to work all right with just the one but it appeared logical this is the one for the pet bottles that's also got the two holes for the two cams um, it seems it ships with just the one I don't know why no idea um, but obviously by using two it evens up that pressure as it rises front and back makes sense but the instructions that came with the glass attachment are pretty much this is it now I don't really think that that's good enough um, and someone might say well it shipped from wherever it wasn't this came from a UK supplier it says working pressure must not exceed 2.2 2 MPA do we know what that is remember this came from a UK supplier and it's only a tiny little piece of paper look I mean this is it now pet bottles plastic bottles can be a little bit more tolerant but glass especially as a lot of home brewers use recycled glass bottles that they've pulled out of bottle uh, bins in their local pub so like hobgoblin etc we don't know the overall quality of those and we work with PSI I'm going to keep this down at serving pressure 
probably around just under two psi when i fill a glass bottle because if they shatter it's fairly unforgiving so bowl slightly better instructions it seems such a shame because this is such a wonderful little tool to have lacking safety information on here when you're putting pressure into a glass bottle people might say well you know people can use their common sense just bear in mind these are possibly the same people at the dial dialing 999 when kfc was closed during the start of the lockdown All right let's not go by common sense let's spell it out don't put too much pressure in there um, it's all right making a note of exploding bottles but let's try and avoid that altogether same as the other one these cams have effectively they have three different orientations and they will fit in every one of those sorry four different orientations actually they will fit in each of those different four orientations i'll come when i look at the manual i'll just mention that but for now this solves the mystery of the cams so if we pop that in there and i think it's to do with the ride height come on you f out oh god i can't be bothered um i'll end up breaking my fingernails that i've just put varnish on um so yeah as i said this has got three different four different orientations it will fit that way it will fit that way that way so realistically it would have been nice to have some clarity as to why it has those profiles as i say i think it's about the ride height so that's the glass bottle attachment let's have a look at the manual I have to say at first sight we've got the word technologies in English and then loads of script and then ITAP in English so I was thinking possibly this is in dual language it's not <laughs> that would be too easy wouldn't it um, part one is a fairly nice schematic of what is what pretty nicely laid out well designed two number two gives you an idea of its application what goes where etc three is probably about how it's used what the different parts are for then we open it up and this is where it's nice four gives us an idea of the orientation of that cam but it only shows the one cam and I'm sure someone who can read whatever this is Mandarin maybe will have an idea it still only shows the one cam but it does show rotating the cam for some reason ride height there's a lovely little table and again doesn't mean anything but there's a good thing Right, the final part of this, number six, gives a beautifully well illustrated exploded diagram of the parts. Again, only one cam. But usefully, number nine there is the washer here that it pushes up against sort of indicating that you might be able to get spares so that's a good thing but again just the one cam and over here it has the rotation of the cam so my only criticism of this is that Bowl haven't made it available in multi-languages on their website which is what everybody these days will do because what do we do we lose the instructions 
If you ever want to go back to them, the handy place to find them is online, so we can print it out. Or they could even just put a link to it on the box, save the paper, printing it out. Everyone can download a PDF. So my two, at the moment, my two main, I guess, criticisms are about information. This doesn't give adequate safety information about the use of the glass bottle attachment. But it is such a good product. It's almost like it's spoiling the ship for a halfpence worth of tar. Nobody will really know these days what a halfpence is. <laughs> a halfpence. This is a halfpence. This is a half penny, a halfpenny. And the whole thing was that when you cut corners, for the sake of a half penny's worth of tar on the bottom of a boat, the boat could sink. It's a kind of like a, a metaphor. Uh, but excellent product, really can't fault the product in the slightest. What about in use? Well, if I can find it, I'll find a photograph of them all lined up on a bar in a tap room to fill bottles. You could do. If you were going to do that, essentially, you would have the same cleaning regime you'd use. This is what I use to clear my beer lines. You do one to 100 mix. So you would just pop that onto, I use a little two litre mini keg with me beer line cleaner, and you would clean it into a bottle and then let it overflow, and then it would clean the dregs pipe, the drips pipe as well. But, hang on a sec. But in daily use, so I just had to turn the camera off and on again to stop that flicker. In daily use, if you just literally, as I did the other day, running a couple of bottles off a keg, a simple flush out with water and star sand is all you need because you're not going to get any build up. So you don't really need to clean it out. And star sand's well good enough for that. Just flush it out of water, run a little bit of star sand through, star sand, phosphoric acid. Star sand is really a sanitizer, not steriliser, remember the difference. But for a single one-off use, you don't need to run beer line cleaner through it. Um, so yeah, it's a good product. I like the product. I'd recommend the product with those couple of caveats that. Make a note of the dual cam. Give an extra cam. Give two cams when you send it out. Really? For the cost of, what's that? probably about a tenth of a euro if that better instruction manual available online to download and the warning for the glass bottle attachment seriously put it in different you know put it in different pressures remember that a lot of people work to psi and a lot of people um, aren't clever enough to think that a glass bottle might explode and if it's at this height boys and girls <laughs> if it's at this height and you've installed it and you get an exploding glass bottle um, your wedding tackle might be seriously affected but home brewers like recycling bottles from pubs we don't know uh, the quality of them otherwise one final quick demonstration with my Heath Robinson attaching <laughs> With a G clamp. Gas, waste, overflow, foam overflow, and then we're connected down here onto the top of the corny, which goes into the back post. First, give it a little bit of gas. Have I turned my gas on today? No, let's turn my gas on today just in case gas that's enough just to clean this pipe out <laughs> yeah <laughs> 
One handed, one handed. There we are, brilliant. So that now, I just pulled enough out to clear the lines out. So it's cleared the dip tube in the corny. It's cleared the lines out. I've pulled a little bit more than I would normally off. Um, but you know, bank holiday, always good to pull one off on a bank holiday. I'm gonna see how long it takes me just to bang through these now. Right, so that was playing around with um, slightly different ways of filling uh, fast and slow, as it were, and um, can occasionally, I suppose it's something that I'll get used to, be a bit fiddly just getting the actual bottle in. And there's a couple of times I've got some, I have some bottles here that are reused and have um, sticky labels on them, so I didn't want to use those for the demo because those I've done for the demo of a friend of mine but I think uh, it's easier than any of the other counter pressure or even bottle filling like the Blickman gun um, so yeah happy very quick rundown of cleaning I've replaced the keg with my little beer line cleaner keg just wasser in there haven't really done enough on here to justify any form of beer line cleaner. Can still do the um, counter pressure. That's fine. That's now cleared the line of beer, but I'm going to rinse this out. Okay, do. And now, just going to run water through the whole system so it comes out into the overflow waste. Simple as that. A few drips and this comes off. And then that is then cleaned. And that went straight through into the waste bottle. This can then come off and go and be soaked in star sand. This pretty much cleaned. Done. I have to say, this is pretty much the easiest system I've ever found for filling bottles since the days I used to use a bottling wand from uh, a fermentation bucket. The difference with this obviously is zero oxygen and that's the kicker, no oxygen. Well pleased. I hope you found this useful boys and girls if you have. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, if you click the thumbs up, it makes me feel loved. Um, and if you do subscribe, um, if you click the little vibrating bell, then I will vibrate in your pocket every time a new video goes up. Any questions? Chuck them in the comments down there, guys. Cheers. Fucking never seen that. What a twat.
You're a fucking idiot.